Many folks provide uh, couple counseling, but how do they know it's actually safe for you to attend? To that end, if you're going to attend marital counseling, the counselor should be screening uh, for domestic violence and power imbalances. We want to make sure it's actually safe for you to attend. Screening isn't an assessment. It's just that. It's screening. And it could be done in person. Typically, it's done on the phone or it can be done uh, paper and pen, so to speak, or on, on the computer. But you're asked a series of questions. How do you guys get along? Is there ever any tension? Is there ever any yelling or screaming? If there is any yelling or screaming, is there ever any uh, foul language being used between the two of you? If I were a fly in the wall, what would I hear? What would be the worst words that uh, one would call the other if there was name calling? Let me tell you, it's different to hear, oh, you're a jerk versus the C word or the B word or you're not a man or there are different levels of intensity. And when you get those different levels of intensity, is there ever any pushing or shoving? If there has, has anyone ever fallen down? Has anyone ever been hurt? Is there any outright hitting? If I were to walk through your home, would I see holes in the wall? Are things broken, ever broken, thrown? So this screening um, is about asking a series of questions where, depending on the response, one question can lead to another. And we're trying to figure out, is it safe for you to attend? So I've chatted with some callers where um, there's considerable violence. And from my perspective, I don't feel comfortable, even if you do, uh, providing the counseling until there's a safety plan in place. So I've referred uh, people, mostly women, uh, to speak with a counselor to get a safety plan in place prior to attending counseling. Why? Because couple counseling is a very intense process. We're going to be raising and talking about issues um, where you don't get along. That can increase the risk of repercussions of violence. We want to make sure uh, as best we can that it's safe. So if you're going for couple counseling, if the counselor doesn't ask any of those questions, be it, you know, like I do on the phone or by paper and pencil or, um, you know, over the computer before you attend, then you have to wonder, from my perspective anyways, about the qualifications of that couple counselor and whether or not um, they understand the necessity of screening. Uh, to make sure it's safe for you to attend and address these matters. I'm Gary Derenfeld. I'm a social worker. Remember, screening isn't an assessment. We're not checking out, is this one telling the truth? Is that one telling it? We're just asking some questions to know that, um, or to hopefully know, because we'll never know for sure, uh, that it's reasonable for you to come together for counseling. Yeah, Gary Derenfeld. I'm a social worker. Uh, you can look me up, yoursocialworker.com. Be safe.